This week, we got Julian Jacobs. We've done a couple with him with other people, but this is the first one. It was just me and him. And uh, we got trashed. And I didn't even think I was going to put this one out. But I had a few friends watch it and they were like, you need to put this out. And I'm still not convinced that I should have. But um, putting it out. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> this episode brought to you by Flash VM. Flash. Get flashed. Get your fla- Flash VM. Flash Video Magazine. It's on YouTube. Subscribe. Follow him on IG. Um, he's also selling stickers on his site, so buy them. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. What's up, dude? You know, welcome to Wayne's World. All right. Party time. If Excellent. You, if you build it, they will come. Fuck yeah. If you book them, they will come. <sighs> What are we? What are we building? God, that was a good movie. Uh, Is it, how's my mic distance? It's good. Can it's, you hear me? Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, you, you chilling, dude. Last time we only had one microphone for three people. Oh, true. And shit sounded rough. We're gonna do it up. Yep. Uh, I don't remember like anything we talked about from the last one because I didn't watch it back because I hate hearing myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. We're comp. Thanks for moving your entire podcast studio into another room. It's not like we totally didn't do one with Phoebe and then we're doing one with you now in a different room and I'm wearing a different shirt. <laughs> By the way, fucking buy a heat maker merch or kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> how much did you spend on all this fucking pod equipment um i think it was like there's a lot of shit in here yeah uh, i just went wild on fucking prime day and got some deals and then i I like yeah i mean it was it was like it was like close to a thousand bucks i'm Damn. just i'm just sick of fucking silly mania pod at pod ass cat podcast <laughs> sill 80 Mania podcast shitting all over my fucking sound quality and like putting out good content and mine sucks. So I see. I want to step it up a little well, bit. Well, shit, in that case, you motherfuckers better buy some goodest merch when it drops. <laughs> <laughs> Help uh, keep this thing going. Yeah, keep keep this dra- gravy, gravy train, gravy train <laughs> rolling, dude. <laughs> Uh, no, I like it. It's legit. That board is real fancy. Yeah. It's sitting you're on like two a, cardboard boxes that like we a found in DJ. here. Yeah. Should, you want me to beatbox? Yeah, I did it. I, don't, I actually don't know how to beatbox. All right, sick. You well, want to kick a freestyle, though? No. Nah. Okay. That mic has been used in, like, multiple rap shows, and that's why it's all dented. It's because people dropped it. Oh, wow. They just got so wild, they were like... Yep. Spit a flow and then chuck it on the ground. <laughs> I guess so. Sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Well, this is off to a good start. Yeah, I'm I'm comfy at least. That's good. We had to move the whole podcast setup because my back is fucked. Palmer's back is fucked too, so it's probably good that we did this. Yeah. I'm chilling now. I actually like I actually like this uh, setup. This is nice. Yeah, feels Phoebe, like Phoebe hates it in here. She says it stinks, but I don't. It's fine. Like <laughs> it's comfy. Uh, this is if you can't see it, but like just to the right is like Julian's Assetto rig slash where we like get drunk and play video games sometimes. So it's a it's a comfortable room. Mm-hmm. I've slept in here many times. Yep slash ship knuckles and shit yeah it's an office yeah there's you know these just this beautiful product placement right behind us of these two b knuckle hanging out on the couch so how is the pod with phoebes she's definitely like funnier and more entertaining and wittier than i am (laughs) yeah i mean yeah (laughs) of course 
It was good. Phoebe's the fucking Phoebe's a legend. Phoebe's the fucking Phoebe's Phoebe's like an unsung hero of animal style. Yeah, that's true. She's a real one. Yep. That's why you fucking wiped it up. You're like, I'm gonna ring that up, put it, a ring on the finger. Yeah. Of her. Even though she had a ring like ten years ago and I wore a fucking uh hose clamp in our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you wore a hose clamp? Yeah. It's it just a last minute thought. Everything in our wedding was a last minute thought. The the candy crocs. We like oh. ordered some crocs and they didn't come in time because we didn't think of it until the very last fucking like couple days. She was like, We should wear crocs. I was like, Really? You wanna wear crocs? It's fitting. And so I just took some old ones and candy painted them like the night before. <laughs> and they were like barely dry. It was pretty silly, but whatever. Hey man, little she, shit like she that matters. Good in them. Yeah. I looked goofy. It looked like fucking Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald D. Ronald McDonald? No, yeah, Ronald M. Well, you know what? <laughs> Phoebe was telling us about how she met you at a spelling bee because you're good at spelling. I probably am like undiagnosed dyslexic. I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw that out there. So is Phoebe. So if you if you see the uh, get us cast description about the episode and it's fucking poorly spelled and there's like grammatical errors. That's why, uh, <laughs> that's why. So you just, so you just finally got to drive your, uh, Z at Grange. Yeah. Orange, Apple Valley. Sp- yeah. Yeah. International Speedway. Yeah. I got a 350Z. Sick. Yeah. I don't know. I never like, I never thought I would get one. Wasn't really into them, but. Yeah, it's just like the way uh, the S chassis market has gone, and not that I, I didn't really need more drift cars. Like I have a few, <laughs> but it was like just a couple. I just suck at cars, man. I was getting burnt out. Like I had to take a break for a bit just because the last like couple of years have been rough. rough. Like yeah, big rough. Damn, dude, you owe me a Coke or a Coors Light. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just like, I, I had some good days and like driving the S13 with an SR when it worked was so good, but when yeah. it didn't, it, it sucked. I'm not, I'm not Jason <laughs> with yeah. my fucking eight year fucking solid SR. Yeah. It's I'd... just me. It's not, it's not sr's fault it's me but fuck man yeah i hadn't really taken a break from drifting in many years yeah and like it just i was starting to get drained from all the like bad days like when you take your car hella far to an event and then some like catastrophic failure happens it's like pretty discouraging and yeah yeah, I mean, I feel like most people can understand that. Even going to, like, a local event and having your car not work is a fucking nightmare. But, like, going across country or even eight hours, ten hours towing, you get there and you unload your car and it just you can't even do, like, a lap. It's like, it's like, it's like some kind of sick edging bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you're just like, I don't know, I feel like creepy people would pay money to go through that pain. <laughs> <laughs> shit sucks yeah but yeah it's like i think it's fixed and then i go test it down the road and i only beat on it for two seconds like driving down the street and then i'm like oh yeah it's totally fine and then take it hours away or days away and it just yeah stupid shit i feel like it's partially bad luck and partially just not being on top of shit i don't know but i don't know i feel bad like i don't want to ditch the sr yet like it's not i don't know i'm not done like you will you'll have another sr car yeah for sure like the uh the block ended up being totally fucked (laughs) it's like done so that motor's done but the head's okay 
I think Jason has another block uh, he's going to hook me up with. And then uh, I was picking up a crank from Lamar, our powder coat man. He's got a crank. So throw that together and throw it in another car. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, because MMP, they've been like, they've been super supportive with turbos and shit. And I like haven't been able to sh- like show what they're, you know, the Nauki turbo, the NS400. Like, mm-hmm. I haven't shown how what sick it is because yeah. every time i go out like i blew the motor and then blew the turbo and like yeah <sighs> everyone's probably shaking their head they are i mean but yeah i don't know it is what it is i'll try to try to make it up to them i'm excited but, i'm excited to see what what happens with i'm excited to see what happens with the k series and I think, I think having like a, at least in like, at least in your, like on, on Josh's podcast that we just did, he was talking about how he's literally waiting for you or hurt to see who can complete the case swap and like go out and beat on it and have it actually work. And then he's going to, he's like interested in doing one. Yeah. I feel like the whole country is waiting to see if you motherfuckers can like make your shit yeah, hurts a real good test. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am too. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, you both are. Yeah, for sure. We definitely we're we're pretty good at breaking cars. Now I'm I'm hoping I'm not trying to go crazy. Like I think 400 horsepower is pretty achievable. But yeah, I guess it's like all the the oiling stuff and yeah. It seems like TF has it figured out, but. I, I it think need, it needs to be put to a real test because we haven't seen anyone really like beating the shit out of one. Yeah, it's been it's been in drift cars, but it hasn't been in your drift car. Yeah, because if if it can last under your uh, <laughs> abuse, <laughs> I'll try my best to break it. Yeah, I got you. Like you like a the, couple of them. You like? I feel like you should. I feel like you should have a job at, uh, like a manufacturer, like a, a vehicle manufacturer as your, as the like re- reliability, like test <laughs> guy. We're like if he can fucking break it, we need to change something. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's not how new cars are though. Yeah, They're built true. to break. True. True. It's like anything after like 2005 or something is just like built to break. Tell that to my fucking. That's, tell that to my forerunner, bro. Uh, it's got two hundred. It probably it. wouldn't last like a fucking ninety-eight forerunner. <laughs> it wouldn't last like a ninety-eight Hilux diesel. That's for sure. <sighs> yeah. You could drive those things to the moon and back. Yeah. But hey, what are you gonna do? Mm. I don't know. It was it was it was good to drive with you. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, dude. It felt so good to fucking beat up on your shit like like chasing you in a car that's not like that fast was so fun because i was like hell yeah because usually it's like (laughs) usually i'm the one just getting like fucking pushed down the straight and like pushed into the corner like in the corner like getting pushed and stuff transition getting like sweeped like and uh you driving like a slower car was it was nice man It, it was it was uh it was validating in a way uh Dude, you're fast as fuck now. <laughs> like I wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to gas you up too much at the track. You know, I wasn't trying to <laughs> inflate your ego, but you're fucking fast. Don't do it, dude. Don't you inflate my ego. I mean, you still suck, but like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, yeah, you're hella fast. Aaron was saying the same thing. He was like, he said he was struggling to keep up with you. That That's fucking crazy. BMW grip main. Yeah, it it it's the chassis. No, nah, you're fast though. You, yeah. It's I mean, good. Jason Jason drove my car recently, and I had like the data logging stuff from like Driftbit or whatever, and I I checked, and his like his like ground speed. It's kind of cool to see like somebody else driving my car. It's, it. I gotta talk to the dude because it's anyway whatever. It's it hasn't been. Oh oh, I didn't. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about this. Tell me more. 
Uh, so Jason drove my car. So we like, I, I was like, do some laps because he brought his daily. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. I want to see Jason drive my car because he hadn't driven it since it was like tuned. And last time he drove it, it was kind of broken. And uh, I was able to compare my runs and his runs. Oh, Jason's sick. runs, he was within five feet of the line every oh, lap. Interesting. He was also five miles an hour faster than me in like a couple sections. Interesting. But what what line like? Uh, it was at like a good luck league. So. Oh. Uh, within five feet of your line, or within five feet of his line, every run. Oh. My uh, line, uh, my line adjusted a bunch. Hmm. And so, due to that, I've been thinking about why that is, and I think it's I'm very reactive. So I'll like throw the car in and I'll catch it and like do shit with the pedal, to like, I'll like dance on the pedal and. Uh, my like steering wheel work isn't very good. Hmm. It's it's decent, but it could be better, right? And uh, it's weird because I rode with Phoebe, and I realized like Phoebe's steering wheel work is crazy. <laughs> like like she's putting in the most, and like she can keep the car drifting like with like almost no throttle. It's it's really crazy. Uh, and it's like kind of interesting to see what does that like. And I, and I realized, like, I, I got to work on my steering game. Like, even still, like, I'm getting better at chasing, but I need to work on my steering game. Yeah, you got to – it's uh, it's crazy how much, like, how important both, yeah. like, the steering and your throttle work is. Because, like, yeah, Phoebe's throttle work lacks big time, but yeah. her steering is super good. Like we, She's timid on the throttle. Yeah, sometimes we play a setto, and, like, I'll take the pedals, and she yeah. steers, and it's fucking sick. And then we switch, and it's like – Yeah, we've yeah. done that. Yeah. And I'm good. I'm great. Like I It's can... actually a good training exercise Yeah. Uh, for you guys that mess around on simulators. Like, one person on the pedals and one person on the wheel is actually really fun, and it's a cool way to kind of, like – I I can drive See, for you on it. pedals, but uh, taking the wheel and you on pedals, like I can't even drift. Huh. We've done that before, and yeah, same yeah, with yeah. same with Al. Al's hella good on steering, but pedal he is like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. So yeah, that's like something I gotta figure out. I don't know how. I don't know how to fix it though. <laughs> just gotta practice. Yeah, that's all it is. I it's think just uh, more more practice i've been better on the steering wheel though lately because i can tell like in chase you need that and that, i think that was like one of the big things and i realized that uh i realized that this weekend because i was doing stuff where i would like throw the wheel in more and like add more angle to like stay close and i would always do this shit where i would like i would dive in but then i would end up like on the inside and like sh- like straighten out and like go straight and so, like, I started feeding the wheel, like, left super hard in drift and, like, even, like, stay close to people better. And I never did that before, and I didn't know I needed to do that. Mm. But it, it, it makes a difference. Still, yeah. I still have a long way to go on, like, the steering. We all do. That's the thing. You can't think you're the shit. We all suck. <laughs> this is true. We all suck. That's how you. That's how you get better. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely had some, like, uh, ego-inflating moments in the last little bit, but, like, I don't know, some, I can't remember who it was, but someone's like, wow, you're going really good, and I was like, dude, I'm just trying to, like, be as good as my teammates yeah, yeah. and, like, Japanese dudes, like, you have to go there and see that firsthand and just be like, ah, like, I have, like, ten years of work to do. Yeah. Long side. Yeah. No, for sure. I was thinking about this earlier. It's, yeah. That's not to fucking be that nerd, but that's just, that's what Japan driving always has one up on us. It's like, it's so much more about the driving technique in any, in any avenue in drifting, like whether it's the fucking super Shakotan guys or the comp guys, like, the driving technique is always so far beyond us. And like, there's a lot of pro American dudes that don't realize that. Like, yeah. 
not that they're not good. Like there's a lot of good drivers here, but I feel like they hit kind of a certain point and they're not going to get that much better because they don't think they suck. They think they're hella good. Yeah. <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta always think that you suck Yeah. to get better. Like you got, I don't know. Every time I drive, like I'm always thinking about working on certain techniques and improving on this and that. Like, if I don't do some like insane fucking chase where I'm like rubbing the door of the car through the whole run or like some really good like full throttle entry like that hits the right line, like I'm bummed out. Like yeah. I, I'll be pissed off at myself. Yeah. Jason Jason's like that now. Like Jason yeah. uh Jason at Final Bout this weekend, like it was it was me, Aaron, Jason, we just ran like the whole night pretty much. And Jason drove fucking awesome, but he was just like, "Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't have that." Like, he he wasn't he wasn't hyped on his driving, and and yeah. you need that, you need that fuel to go into the next one. Like, that's how it works. Like, that's kind of what I'm learning. Is you, I mean, I feel like I had a, like I feel like I did some of my best driving on Sunday, like at that private event at Grange. For sure, I think you did. It was sick. But still, like, there's. It could be better. It could definitely it, all, it be better. always can be better. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you gotta think like that. That's how you get better. Like there For was sure. a, there was a bunch of really fucking cool runs that like if I would have stuck would have been the shit. But I didn't stick them, so like I need to stick those. Yeah, and uh, doing it consistently is like a whole other thing. Yeah, that's my thing. Is my I feel like I can do wild shit, but I can't do it consistently. Yeah. There's not very many people that can. Yeah. That's the thing, like, ah, people get complacent with, like, oh, I can link the track every time. Cool, dude. That's, yeah. like, basic drifting shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not not hating on people that are learning. Like, you know, everyone starts somewhere. But, like, if you've been drifting fucking you know 10 15 years and you're hyped that you can link the course like okay dude <laughs> make it a bit harder on yourself and yeah it's like yeah it goes back to like you know the issues with like sonoma drift it's like there's a reason why sonoma is 20 minutes 30 minutes from here and i don't ever go there it's because like and not like I appreciate Farouk and everything they do out there and I, I want to drive there more, but like when the skid pad is a cone here and a tire stack there and it's very a tire wide. stack there, there's nothing to learn. It's like, yeah. And I know they want to appeal to everyone, everyone. And it, you know, for people that are just learning. But the thing is like, if you make a well-defined course and you force people to drive on something narrow and they have to get the right line, you're gonna learn quicker. Yeah, like that's what. Did you see at Apple Valley? They added the, the lines on the track, like on the first corner. They have like. Yeah. You can't really see it though. Yeah. It's too wide. I don't yeah. know. It, it is what it is. It's still fun. Like, yeah. It's still fun. Yeah. But yeah, I, I kind of miss the old course. Mm. I was watching clips. I was actually so my boss. <laughs> my boss came. My yeah, boss yeah, yeah. Came, and like. He rode with me on. I threw. I threw like a eighty plus mile an hour backy with like my boss in the car. I was like, my performance review is coming up, bro. I need to like. <laughs> I need to throw it down. And uh, he was he was talking to me about it at work like this week, and I was like, he's like, yeah, that track's pretty narrow. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it used to be way more narrow. And I like showed him old clips. I showed him the B strong backy on there, and I was like, this is what the track like half the width and he's like <laughs> i couldn't even fucking believe it right yeah it was like really really hard to like back it in on the old course yeah shout out fucking be strong that clip is so nuts yeah that was crazy and fucking yeah obviously this shit that Malky was doing they did the overtake we never even got to try that yeah on the old course I'm yeah disappointed yeah Nauki and Nishio. That shit was crazy. Yeah. But like I Yeah, so I showed him I showed him I showed him like Nauki and like us cheers. 
and all the like super D stuff there and kind of like because he was he he was impressed right he's like oh wow that's pretty cool and i'm like yeah we're just we're literally just chasing this and i sent him like naoki and nishio and kind of like sick runs with like naoki chasing jason and naoki like backing him in there and stuff I'm like this is this is the goal <laughs> like this is it uh yeah it's always and they got some years on us so i mean we have some oh, time yeah. but like yeah i've been fucking sli- you guys are all getting super good and i've just been fucking i don't know dude we're gonna we're, you're gonna have like you're gonna have like three running cars <laughs> and shit's gonna like okay honestly Maybe. man it's been so long like i know you can jump in whatever and throw down right which is exciting but like seeing seeing you driving the stock Z, even though it's a stock Z, knowing those like limitations and stuff, it was cool to see you like go throw your like your shit in that car. Like that car is fucking good. Yeah, like it you were cr- like. <laughs> I, I remember like vividly. I was like, oh, that was pretty cool, and you're like, dude, I this car like won't spin out. What the fuck? It's crazy. Like, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, the GK Tech knuckles are super simple and affordable and just bolt on and then stance is always the shit yeah it just feels good but yeah it's just a completely stock z with a welded diff and stance and knuckles <laughs> and arms it's good it's super fun it's just slow it could use a bit more power yeah but yeah everyone's like plenum spacer tune yeah and then try to make it oh. not sound like trumpety dicks but it needs <laughs> needs, it needs some more noise yeah i just want to i want to see you like okay so you go into blood masters and driving stonebacks s15 like that shit was like okay this is fucking julian you know what i mean like me me and aaron me and aaron were like on the sidelines like fucking like cheerleading oh damn near like we almost had you know, we almost we could have had mini skirts on and like pom poms, <laughs> like we were so hyped. You know, that would have that would have made me drive better. <laughs> like, I, we, you know, we want to see you in something like reliable that you can like thrash like that. You know what I mean? And to be fair, yeah, the turbo blew up after you drove it for like fucking twenty minutes. But of that's, course, it fucking did. Yeah, shout out, fucking dad, stone back. <laughs> that's Papa Stony. What a guy so legit getting to drive that thing that car is fucking sick dude yeah jeff stonebacks the man <sighs> yeah he really is he won't listen to this because he's busy but he might yeah that was a good that was a good trip it was cool because it was like the car worked you got the throat it, i i could tell that you're it was like it was like starting to change your perception and what you needed to do i guess like that it was like that and then the event that you went to apple valley grange and you did like a lap and the motor seized like and that was like okay just let's put the fucking k-series in yeah reliable power having jeff's car was definitely like yeah i could use some more power (laughs) dude the the backy by the tree uh like just on throttle the entire time like li- i was standing like i was standing with all the people watching i don't know man like okay so on the last podcast you were talking about how now he's driving on on like a comp got people excited and like you you were saying like that's very important is like do exciting driving like get like get like the judges excited, get the fucking commentators excited, get the spectators excited, kind of thing. Like that was the first time I had seen that uh, in a little bit because you had so many engine troubles, right? And I'm like, I'm on the, f- I'm like standing at the tree, and there's like a bunch of random people I don't know, but they're all just like, dude, what the fuck? And these are people who had watched people drive this track like a ton, right? So it was cool to see you in a in a machine that could like kind of handle what you were trying to do right if that makes sense like you did blow off the track and like rip all the air off once but like after that that's yeah that's part of it yeah you gotta find, <laughs> you gotta find the edge of the track you know that's yeah 
I learned that from Naoki, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, when he first came to Grange and, like, the first couple laps, he flew way the fuck off the track. Yeah. Like, this is why I can't have a slammed car anymore. Yeah. Like, I, I love slammed cars. Yeah. Sorry, internet. Yeah. I like them, too. Yeah. But, like, if you want to drive really hard, yeah, you're just, you're going to fuck your car up. I don't know. Like, there is... A lot of ways to do drifting these days, and I know like I'm I'm raising my car. I already said it after this weekend, dude. I just I don't I don't know if it's getting it's old or if it's I don't think it's getting old. I think it's just the urge to really really push our driving. Like it's because I it, I've always been like driving is paramount. Like driving yeah. is above everything, but. You know, like, I still thought, like, oh, you can have a slam car and drive super hard. And, like, I was always still trying to drive aggressive, but, like, it just wasn't the same. And then it took going to Mahon. Like, it yeah. took actually going there. Like, having Naoki come didn't even do it. I'm yeah. sure we've talked about this already, but, like, yeah. No, I agree. You have to go there and see it with your own eyes. It's like. And then you, and then I drove a car like someone else's car that was super good. And it's like, f why is this so good? It's yeah. so simple. Yeah. All the, you don't need all. The, it's like, yeah, it's a typical American shit where, you know, we get all this these engineered parts that are super fancy and they're made to do this and that. And, and some of that stuff is good. Yeah. I'm not sure. knocking it. Like it has its purpose, especially in like American competition style driving. But like. If you want to just do exciting shit, you can just have a basic ass car and you just have to drive a lot. I would say there is a, there is a difference between doing exciting driving and doing competition driving in the US at this point. Like if you watch that fucking video where Formula D guys are like trying to there's like a backwards entry comp and like I would say like I think there was like 10 people in the competition and like the only person who could do one and it was like okay was Odie and everyone else just like f flailed <laughs> like like it was like you know what I mean yeah like, I mean that's I just if, that's not the type of driving they try to do but yeah I don't know if it's like the way that the cars are set up and the it's way probably partially that and, yeah and just that they don't but like why are they not trying to I, do that yeah I mean it's just interesting that they're trying to have like a backy comp like are we infiltrating a bit in like the style of driving <sighs> that we know. like or is that Anyways. like what people want to see like it was pretty funny watching no Ken Gushi like judge it and he was just like eh, it was okay and then like <laughs> TJ Hunt was like that was good and Ken Gushi's like uh <laughs> yeah uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm making no friends on this podcast. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I didn't really watch it. Speaking of FD, um, I might as well talk about this because I'm just going to seal the deal here. <sighs> Billy and I, yeah. Billy Sutton and I were talking about how, like, I wouldn't mind doing FD if someone was like, here, join our team and drive this super setup car. That's the only way. Not that I, that would ever happen because nobody fucking gives a shit about my driving. But if they <laughs> did and they were like, here you go, drive for our team. That's the only way I would do Formula D. Yeah. And then Billy like talked to Stoneback and just ran it like I didn't ask him to. Because <laughs> we were talking like he was like, oh, you should you should ask Jeff if you could drive his S15 and do pro two or pro spec or whatever. And I yeah. was like, nah, I'm not going to ask him to do that. And then he talked to Jeff and he was like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's, let's anyway, that would take a lot of effort. So we were like talking about, you know, what sponsors we could hit up, talk to, <laughs> and he was like, he just laughed at me. He was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, it's not worth shots fired. Not, it's not, <laughs> it's <laughs> not worth talk. trying, like putting all that effort into. And it's, that's so true. Like, I don't care about FD. Yeah. Like I understand that there are people that that's where they're, <sighs> that's what they're all about. And I understand there's people making a living out of it. And, you know, 
good for them. Like Matt Field is fucking killing it. Yeah. You know, and Shout he's, out Matt. yeah, Matt's rad. And there's a couple, Ken is dope. Like he's been doing it for years. Like yeah. there's Shout people, out who, Ken too. yeah, for sure. There's people who have been in it for years that definitely belong to be there. Shout out Rome. I hope he does well. Yeah, for sure. Um, but like there's videos of me doing a burnout at Formula D and saying fuck FD and like I'm going to stand by that fuck FD I don't want to drive in it like it's just not it's not the kind of driving I want to do Fair enough <laughs> I don't care like I don't like it might be kind of fun to try to like drive in that style of driving just to yeah. see but like at the end of the day even if I could perform well and like do well in points or what i just yeah. i don't care that yeah. wouldn't do anything for me like i really want to drive in the type of driving that i really like and mm-hmm. like be challenged not that formula D wouldn't be a challenge i think it would be a huge challenge like yeah that type of driving is hard the cars are hard to drive like no yeah. like i'm not saying that those dudes can't drive but it's just a different kind of driving and i'm just not really that into it yeah so i'd rather yeah i'd rather i want to fucking drive in japan yeah respect casey man he is super inspiring shout out to casey yeah dude i feel like i've shouted him out in another podcast but he deserves it dude he's fucking shredding yeah it's ridiculous and yota dude he he just qualified what like third in Osaka Prefecture for Kansai All Stars and stuff like all those dudes, man. Yeah, Yota's a G. <sighs> I... Let's just shout out everyone. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out all the homies that are sick. Shout out all the homies that are sick. Shout out everybody that's in the group chats and stuff. Love Yota. I miss that guy. Yeah. I don't know, man. So, what are you gonna do with that? You gonna go drive in Japan or what? Uh, that's always the goal. I mean, you're well, always you've always been the dude where I'm like, you're are you this shit that you want to try and do is ridiculous. You're not gonna be able to do that, and then somehow you fucking pull it off. So, like, it's not really me. Like, yeah. it's like friends that help out. Like, I couldn't do it by myself. Like. Shout out to Yusuf, Thra- Thrash Racing. He's been huge help, like huge connection to Japan. I couldn't do it without him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know how it happens, but I just <sighs> Japan's been rough the past couple trips. I hope yeah. like hope the borders open up. But yeah, I don't know. For people that don't know, I got an S15 there, and it's coming together. Sick. M- Mifune is hooking it up putting it together for me so are you gonna like shout out fucking mifune another sick ass japan driver yeah he's helping out a lot and ag yeah yeah i mean that's always been the goal since the beginning like i definitely like never thought i'd be able to drive in japan at all so like shit that's happened already is like i yeah it's, it's unreal been a dream but like i want to like actually drive well because i've just been sucking ass when i go to japan i guess yeah. i feel like the best i drove was when i went there with my own car and it was slammed and drove like shit and i still like drove better than all the other times i've been there yeah it's tough man it's just tough like not speaking any fucking useful japanese yeah like i could order some food and like thank people and Ichi nice nisan. to meet you <laughs> fucking it's like Arigato gozaimasu. yeah i guess you know shut up and fucking learn japanese but like it's it's not that easy no it's a lot of time and dude i barely speak english like i can't imagine yeah i can barely talk in my own language but yeah that's that's the ultimate goal dude i just want to drive there because that's where i feel like the real somebody taught me how to say sweet little buns today or sweet little bun in mandarin i was gonna say in japanese (laughs) (laughs) 
Shao Tong Bao. <laughs> and then I taught, I asked her how to say, come here, sweet little bun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I forgot how to say come here but whatever dude alright sick yeah sorry I just showed Phoebe the video of John Cena apologizing for uh, in like perfect calling Taiwan a country (laughs) in Chinese dude we're gonna ban off YouTube for that Uh, whatever dude dude. John Cena perfect Mandarin I want to see him do that shit in Cantonese, though, bro. (laughs) Uh, What were we talking about? I don't know. Just nerding out about Japan drifting, daydreaming? Yeah, I don't know. I want to fucking... Fuck. I just want to drive there. That's kind of all I care about. And driving with my friends here. It's like... As the years go on, I'm less and less hyped about just like driving with random people. There's no like, yeah, I can. I just want to drive with my friends here that share the same driving interest. I can agree with that. I mean, I'll drive with whoever. No, I'm not like, I'm not a drift snob. Like, yeah, if yeah, it was nice. It was nice at final bout because because it's a team event. Uh, we got to drive with the team a lot and then like if people wanted to jump in they wanted to jump in but like it was nice to get a lot of back to back runs in with the team where it wasn't like a jam event where like people were like oh I want to jump in and follow or it was it was it was good for me it was good for me because like I I'm a little inconsistent and I got to like work on that a bit you know what I mean sick yeah yeah, I mean, I yeah saw some clips. You guys were jamming. I didn't have a final bout worthy car, so you don't want to bring the Z. Out. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You don't want to bring no tree fitty. I don't know. I don't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, but yeah, it looked fun. So what's what's going on with Super D, man? Are you like taking the year off? Because it's it's uh I don't I don't mean to tell you this, but it's like the eighth month and the isn't it no seventh month of the year. There hasn't been one fucking Super D event. Yeah, we need to do some Super D. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much I how much I want to say about this. I yeah, I we need to do Super D. Yeah. Yeah. A big for those that don't know, Super D is not just me by any means. Yeah. Michael and Al and Billy and a bunch of other friends help out with Super D, but Michael is this guy Deep Magic, he's a big part of Super D. He's one of the owners. Uh, yeah, we're all busy. Michael's very busy, and it's hard to it's hard to get him excited about it sometimes. And it's really not shit without him. Yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, it's not things, it's man. not something I can do on my own. Um, but I think it's important. Like I think, yeah, I love driving him and. It's been good in the past. I don't, we need to do it. Yes, yeah. I think I'm popping shots. Where the fuck they at, dude? Yeah, dude. Fuck. They're coming eventually. Yeah, we're uh, we're building another car for Super D. It's yeah. just kind of took the back burner because the plan was originally to put the first K swap that we have into that new car, and then have Nauki or some other sick driver come back and yeah. drive it um and then i had sr problems so <laughs> first case op is my car yeah but that car will come together eventually and plus like covid and international travel and stuff's kind of rough right now yeah 
It's a good excuse, at least, why we're slacking. <laughs> Quit yeah. fucking slacking, dude. Yeah, I'm getting excited again, though. Yeah. Driving the Z was definitely, like, that car is really fun, and I feel like it could do some sick shit, but it it was motivating for the S13. Like, I need to... Yeah. Need to drive a car that's on your guys' level. I did like I did like a lap where I was like trying to drive slow that so you could get close and like you no. still weren't close and I was no. like I was like all right fuck yeah this dude's gonna finish his car <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no nah, it wasn't happening yeah I've gotten like I've gotten to the point where like in lead I can like slow my drifts down so that we can like stack up pretty good and like yeah I tried... dude good job I couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do that with the Z and you were like I was like where's he at dude that fucking BMW grip yeah we got we got the mechanical down you know yep yep oh probably shouldn't open this but you know what we're gonna you know what we're doing it fucking crack it dude alright cool let's wait did you just finish the one that we normally drink yeah oh shit all right the only way i can get julian to do these podcasts is uh beers i'm pretty awkward and boring <laughs> that's actually not true this is the first podcast by myself because i feel like i'm a boring guest that's not true man you actually you, you're actually very insightful and you have a lot of uh p- people are interested in what you have to say man i don't know why yeah well but we're here huh yeah freaking welcome to wayne's <laughs> world dude party time excellent i spilled beer all over myself um <laughs> yeah well what else <laughs> Yeah. Dude, we just fucking. Is this it? I was like, I should uh, get an 18 pack. And then I was like, nah, we don't need that. And then I got a 12 pack and we just yeah. killed it. Yeah, well, it's probably better that we didn't get the 18 pack because this podcast would have never made it out. It might still not. Who knows? That's not true. We're fine. Cheers. Dude. Yeah, we're great. Come by. I'll only do one big burp into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one's going to listen to this one. <laughs> That's actually better. Are you are you waiting? Are you pacing it? Oh, it's a slow one. It's a slow burn. What else, dude? <sighs> I don't know, man. What else is new? What else were we talking about? That's fun. Uh, yeah, we were like, we were definitely big shit talking earlier, and then we started doing this, and no, we're not. I like know stuff about drifting, kind of sometimes, and then that's about it. Yeah, fair. I guess I know some things about like space. Space sometimes, <laughs> like a couple random stupid facts about space because I watch the universe while I'm going to sleep every night. Phoebe was roasting you about how she, you were telling her all about space and she was pretending that she was interested and, and then and, and then you guys uh, decided to elope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, let me touch Uranus forever. <laughs> Uh, yep and this is what we do in the animal castle (laughs) this is this is about it this is all you get this is is, uh this is about the fucking this is peak animal castle ah shit should play some castle crashers after this (laughs) Cuphead. <laughs> cuphead. <laughs> Game's lose, too hard. Lose Cuphead. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I definitely, I'm definitely interested to see like what 
the what the future holds. Like we we've been to like multiple countries for drifting. We get to do cool stuff. I feel like we I feel like we're all I feel like we're all in like a really good position right now to push each other's driving. Like with Aaron on the with Aaron on the team, he's he's like he's fucking ch- hard charging. Uh and then like Jason's about to like reset his stuff and Yeah, Jason texted me the other day saying he's gonna raise his car an inch all around. Yeah. And he's like he's decided we're getting old. Yeah, he's like, I want to. He's like, I want more grip, and I'm like, come on, man! Like, I already got to work to keep up with you, bro. Like, but I feel like we're, I feel like we're all in like this like competition right now, and it's like it's really good. I'm I'm really interested to see where it goes. Yeah, uh, this is. Yeah, we need to push each other. That's a, that's what it's all about. You gotta drive, <clears throat> drive with people that push you to get better for sure or you won't yeah yeah i mean mean, i've been seeing like some of these like younger younger guys and like they're they're definitely like pushing shit i feel like i feel like some of the norcal fools like on on even on like drift week so like there's like lucas and like drew those the two dudes who won bmw um, boys yeah, those guys that won uh, Twin Drift when we were judging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those guys were throwing down at Drift Week. And, like, most of the clips was, like, those guys and, like, some of the, like, anti-heroes guys. Like, they were fucking throwing down. Like, I feel, yeah. like, I feel like NorCal is, like, really pushing each other right now, and it's good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do some Super D events. Yeah. Good luck league holds it down in the meantime. Yeah. Always appreciate it. Lucky killing it. Shout out to Lucky. Yeah, and the whole whole good luck league squad. Yeah, for sure. They were out at they were out at final bout. Sick. I wish I wish Lucky was driving. Oh dude, no more fucking worms in my legs on this pod. What's up, dude? You see that? That's oh, congrats, fucking congrats, man. Verico's veins, R.I.P. Yeah, I had some uh, big old fucking veins removed from my legs over the last couple of months. That was another thing that kind of slowed me down for a bit. Yeah, for sure. Doctor was like, oh, dude, this ain't shit. You'll be fine in two days. <laughs> fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. So like there's the doctor took or was it the doctor that took a picture of the like, No, I did. Okay, Julian was like <laughs> awake during the surgery where they were like taking out his varicose veins and he took a picture of like some of the veins that he took out and Michael like photoshopped <laughs> Michael photoshopped No, no, he just he just sent a picture of Alien. He took a picture he he sent a picture of Alien in his group chat and like the varicose vein thing that had been removed from julian's leg looked identical to alien (laughs) and it was fucking hilarious also i don't know man maybe you won't drive as good because like aliens not in your legs anymore yeah probably yeah i needed that yeah but it won't hurt now yeah probably won't have like blood clots in my legs randomly yeah that's tight if you've seen me at the track over the past few years wearing fucking compression stockings, it wasn't like for a sporty look. It was <laughs> because my fucking <laughs> legs hurt all the time. Everything I wear is for a sporty look. Just fucking. I was going to say tall problems, but I guess it's just yeah. people problems. If we were the Spice Girls, you'd be Sporty Spice. Yeah. Dude, my body sucks. <laughs> like, I might look like I'm in shape, but... You have a six-pack, bro. My body's fucked up, dude. Like, it's it's a trade-off. Like, it looks good, but my back is fucked. My shoulder's fucked. My veins were fucked. They're gone. I mean, honestly... <laughs> my knee's pretty fucked. I'm fucked up, dude. If you see me at the track laying on the ground... <laughs> that's <laughs> you know why i'm Dude, hurting i would trade i would trade that for being able to eat burritos fucking 10 times a week and still have a six pack <laughs> fuck you bro <laughs> 10 times a week 
Dude, burritos. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I eat them without cheese now, dude. Burritos on mom's. That's dude. the key. <laughs> burritos on God. <laughs> That's for Aaron. Oh man. If any of you people out there listening don't get to eat Mexican food, sorry. I feel yeah. bad for you. Yeah. Yeah, big I'm, facts. I'm a Mexican food connoisseur, just so you know. If you ever want to come to NorCal, I'll make you eat fire Mexican food. Julian, Julian's like the only person I know who has like a favorite salsa from like five different places. And like he knows which taco truck's going to be where when. And like, who, oh, also, what the, yeah, what the also, fire like, meat is which which meat at each restaurant, like, yeah, only get the fucking carnitas from one place and only get the asada from another place, like, yeah. I <laughs> now now I do this thing where like if I go to like a taqueria, I like I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what's your meat? And they're like, oh, it's this one because I know now I know mm, that they yeah, all have yeah, like yeah, a yeah. specific one. You know what I mean? Jason does like the test of like a chicken burrito everywhere that's his test which yeah. is that's, that's that's risky because most places don't have good grilled chicken like yeah, that's that's, that's the hardest one to hit is the grilled chicken because it's usually maybe like that's flavorless. a good test then. that's true yeah it's like yo if you can if you can do good chicken like how's everything else true yeah like it, i have a vegetarian is a good friend test. who's like really bad at picking restaurants and then i have a vegetarian friend jeff chan shout out jeff chan who like knows the best places to eat hands down without a doubt everywhere and he's vegetarian and he's like if they can't fuck up the vegetarian menu like you know their other shit's fire and i was like yeah fair enough luke is a meat eater but for some reason gets vegetarian burritos because he doesn't like the like consistency of meat in his burritos it's so huh. funny <laughs> So he orders vegetarian burritos. Hey, Luke, finish your fucking car. Dude. <laughs> and stop eating vegetarian. That's probably why, dude. Yeah, dude. He doesn't have the energy to finish his car because he's not <laughs> eating any meat in his fucking burritos. Dude, protein your burritos and finish your car, please. <sighs> ah, love Luke. Yep, same. Got a load rev limiter that i borrowed on fucking, his car fucking love burritos too dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh this one's off the rails oh, man dude i eat so much mexican food yeah i heard <laughs> dude like other countries don't have mexican food yeah you know what other countries have everywhere pizza dude even everywhere other I've... states fucking Daniel was over here yeah. the past couple of days. Shout out to fucking D. Peterson. <laughs> dude, he's from New Mexico. Yeah. And I showed him some Mexican food and he was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, yeah. what the fuck? I live close to Mexico, real Mexico, and like, this is fire. Huh. Like, how does New Mexico not have good Mexican food? I don't I mean, know. It maybe probably, it maybe probably he just does. doesn't know where to go. It probably does, but yeah. He's just on that. He's on that. He's on that Tex Max hype. Maybe, yeah. I showed him Elroy's. Elroy, Elroy's is. It's fire. It's hard to beat. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do, man? <sighs> yeah. Even like, dude, they say SoCal has the best Mexican food because it's like right next to the border. I've only had a couple places in SoCal, but I've been to some good spots, man. I feel like I feel like you've I'm been sure you've been I'm you've sure. been led astray there. Probably, like, probably like the taco trucks down in 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 some certain spots, like they definitely rival up here. Yeah, I don't really go anywhere, so <laughs> <laughs> I need to expand my. So if you know a good spot, send them. Tell me, J Rod. Send it. Tell me the fire spot in SoCal. We need to know. We need to know where they where they got the the hot shit. We need the we need the best. We need we need the best max, dude. Tell us the best thing to get too. Yeah, don't just say where to go. Say what to get where. Blow my dick off, as Phoebe <laughs> would say. <laughs> I want my dick to fall off when I eat whatever you're suggesting. 
because it's so good. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, what are we even fucking talk about, dude? I'm drunk. This is how come every no. Oh. I don't know, dude. Here we go again. Should we freestyle? Know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that drunk. Yeah. Shout yeah. out, fucking Landon. Yeah. The delayed heat. Can he freestyle? No, we just were really, 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 really drunk in Portland one night. And freestyling? Freestyling. Uh, I wish I was there for that. Landon was hyped at the private day the other night at Grange. He was like, man, you got me rethinking everything. I like, kind of want a Z or like some kind of car. I don't yeah, he wants care a, that much He wants a thrash it. machine. How? That's like, that's the shit that gets me hyped on drifting. Like, Yeah. Being out there at night doing those like laps back to back where like I felt like like they were sick runs and then all you guys are out there fucking yeah like dude, that that's you, drifting dude you can't like, you can't that was like that was like a street sesh on a track that's the shit like, that gets me fucking high it was like Hawaii weather it was like humid as fuck nighttime warm warm rain you're like what it was like monsoon season in the desert there's like lightning going off yeah on you fucking runs. enter and then you see lightning in the background it like yeah fucking it was sick. wild man and it was like i, I wish i got I, I i didn't capture it well on the fucking camcorder when i was filming or whatever but like there was like there was like eight people behind me they all had like beers in hand and you like throw some shit and like in the z and like fly off the track and everyone's like go on do it one more time you know like like everyone was just hyping each other up it was crazy it was like someone would go out and do like a backy session and like everyone was hyping him up and then their car would be, be out of tires or their car would break or whatever and they'd come in and they'd grab a beer and someone else would go out for like a backy like that to me was like is like the pinnacle that's the fucking pinnacle yeah, that like, was so fun fuck everything else I mean, yeah. going to Japan's pretty like Japan. It's it's like that, and like going to Japan and, and witnessing like the fucking overlords of drifting, and like and like one of those sessions. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Like I almost didn't go because my clutch was slipping. That whole day at Apple Valley, my clutch was slipping. Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck it, dude. I'm still gonna just do whatever I can," you know. Yeah. No, that was fun. Yeah, that's the best. Like. Yeah, you gotta fucking get the people hyped that are watching. That's yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah. But yeah, Landon has like the fucking cleanest Hachi ever. Dude, and, just like, as he doesn't he doesn't want to fuck it up, but he drives sick, but like his light he holds game. back a little bit because yeah. he doesn't want to hurt his car. And it's like yeah. I understand that, but fucking not giving a fuck about your car and just driving it as hard as possible is so much more fun. <laughs> yeah. I re- so much more fun. I remember the Grange event. It was it was super deep. I remember I like kind of fucked my car up, and I was like, "Dude, fuck my car. Who cares?" And then I just start like it was. It, I remember that event on. I was like, "Okay." It, I think it was like the 2018 one where I was like, "Now, now he wouldn't follow me, but he'd like let me chase." And I was like, "All right, that means I fucking suck." So like, I, <laughs> I was like, "If Naoki won't chase you, then you're trash, pretty much." Like I need to, I need to fucking just not give a fuck. And I started that event. I remembered. I was like, "All right, fuck my car, dude." Like I don't care what happens. And it's it's this weird thing. Like how, how do you how. Do, like you have to like experience it yourself. It's like it's like a it's like a it's like a eye opening thing where you just have to be like, all right, I get it. I need I need to do this now. This is what I need to do. I don't get it any other way. <laughs> like I, I mean, you've always been that way. It was hard for me to like break through that. Yeah. Like even. From the time that we were friends, it was always like, you always told me like, if my car survives the event, it was a good event. And like, for me, it was really hard to like, change into that mindset, I guess. But once I did, it was, it was nothing but good. Like, cause you're still going to break your car if you're worried about breaking your car. Yeah, for sure. 
Like, if you're still like, oh, I hope I don't break my car, like, shit's gonna happen no matter what. But if you're like, fuck this car, I don't care about this car. Like, yeah. Which is it's getting harder in a fucking S chassis or yeah. an E36, yeah, even. Fast. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's just a fucking car. Like, I don't yeah. know. I think uh, a lot of people in drifting are car people. Yeah. Like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm re- I, honestly, like, I'm not really a car person. I'm, I'm like a drift guy that has to deal with cars. Like, I have to work on my car. I, and, of course, I want it a certain way. Yeah. I want it to drive a certain way. I want it to look a certain way. But, like, I fucking hate the build process. I hate working on cars. Like, I wish I could have someone else do it or I wish that my car just wouldn't break. But, like driving man it's all about the driving yeah i'm not gonna if it's still mechanically working it could lose all the arrow it could be smashed like i'm still gonna fucking drive it because i'm not gonna work that hard to fucking get to the track that's that far away and then stop driving because i fucked it fucked up the body like yeah i need to fucking drive yeah like i i ate my barn bar final bout like pretty it early sucks on. like it sucks it's but like, i didn't it's like i'm like that's not my day's not over you know oh yeah i don't <sighs> huh yeah long sigh i don't know nothing against people that pack up when their car gets a little broken but like come on dude if it still drives drive yeah that's I'm how with you it. get better i'm with it you gotta you gotta drive through the suck, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I have to do. <laughs> At least I get there, I suck, I gotta drive through it, and then and then cool shit happens. Sometimes. We can't we can't do it on this podcast, but like you're my only friend that like we could be on the phone for hella long, like and like out of nowhere, we'll just have like a couple minutes of silence and just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just be going about our day and then just come back to the conversation. Well, like, you're the only person I do that with. Yeah. Well, it's because we're both fucking hella spacey. All my, okay. My girlfriend in like seventh, eighth grade was like, she'd be like, you're on the computer, huh? And I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, yeah, you haven't said anything for like two minutes. And I'm like, oh, oh, sorry. (laughs) And like a bunch of my friends hate that shit too. But you know what, man? Whatever, dude. Whatever. We're just a bunch. We're just, we're just some space cadets traveling through space on a rock spinning through the fucking solar system, bro. You know? What are you going to do? Nothing. Drink some fucking crystal geyser. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I muted his mic. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, uh. Spare all of you. On, like, a lot of podcasts, I see, like, they have, like, a button for, like, coughing or whatever. And I feel like. Not a lot of podcast people burp on the mic because it's offensive. But this is not one of those podcasts. Let's face it, dude. Your demographic is... Jabronis? Probably <laughs> lots of dudes. It's I can see the demographic. It's it's like 1%. Like, if I'm lucky on like a female podcast, it's like 2% women. Uh, In that being... case, the next one, dude, I'm letting it rip. <laughs> 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 I got some fucking... I could do a burp. Yeah, no, if I'm aware. Uh, come by. I Cheers. Yeah, we should have got the 18-pack. Fuck it. Yeah. I think I have some beers, actually, that you brought over months ago. Mm. All right. Crack those. Yeah, fuck it. We'll finish these first. Yeah. <sighs> What else, dude? Uh, yeah, Super D someday. <laughs> It'll be good. We'll be back. Yeah. 
I feel like those events are needed. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I fucking enjoy it. It's like... It's a lot of work. It started as a selfish thing, like a lot of, uh, like, everything I do. Like, it was like, <laughs> there aren't really <laughs> events catering to the kind of driving that we want, so let's yeah. do some events with, like, technical courses, and it just grew from there. It's the same yeah. thing with fucking heat maker it was like true I need need some knuckles for myself and then my friends wanted it and then yeah grew from there it's the same shit yeah but that's why it's, it's, yeah. that's, that's, that's why what I'm, this podcast was it was fucking lonely and <laughs> wanted to talk to my friends and i was like i feel like everybody else is fucking lonely right now too I might as well put these out that's why it's good yeah that's why yeah make sure you're proud of yeah and then you just roll with it. Driving's number one, though. I feel like I feel like that's the case for all of us. Like, driving's number one. For sure. Yeah, like I don't. There's I have moments where I'm like, "What the fuck am I doing with my life?" Huh. And then I'm like, "What the fuck would I do without drifting?" <laughs> <laughs> It's I've, not. I feel like I we don't, all go through that. I don't consider drifting a hobby at all. What do you consider it? It's just like a part of life. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I think I said this in the video that you made of me fucking 10 years ago. Yeah. Like, and it's still the same. Like, it's just a part of, it's a part of me. I'm not, like, I can't, what the fuck am I going to do without drifting? Yeah. I was driving back from... I was hungover driving back from Apple Valley. I took a nap. <laughs> you guys like <laughs> continued on. I was like, I need to sleep, dude. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna kill somebody if I don't sleep right now. Took a took a big nap. <laughs> like a truck stop somewhere on I five, and I woke up and I was like, Why do we do this? What is this? <laughs> what are we doing? You know? And uh, I was like, Man, this is this is just it now. Like, like, like my job knows that this is like it, <laughs> like my boss came and I was like, this is it. Like, you know, my job, I don't care about like everything else mm -hmm. is like, I mean, I care. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, you know, like I appreciate the opportunities that I've been given and the stuff that I'm working on and whatever. But like, fuck man, like in the last, like during COVID, I just realized like, this is, this is it. Like all through, like I, I wrote when I was a little kid, I used to like, you know, when they, like, have you do, like, assignments or whatever. It was like, I want to be a race car driver. I want to, like, do X, Y, Z. And it's like, yeah, I'm not doing Formula One. I'm not doing touring cars. I'm not going to get to do any of that. But, like, I have drifting. And, like, that's I, the amount of effort and time that I put into it. Like, that's what I have. And, like, I need to keep pushing until I can't, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know what the fucking point of any of it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was what I was thinking. I was like, this shit is so silly. It makes like, I was, no sense. I was driving it's... back and I was like, this shit is so silly. This shit is so silly. But Why at the same time, this? like, what is it? We've met people through fucking the silly thing that is drifting that I consider fucking friends for life. Like, yeah. I wouldn't know you if it weren't for drifting. Yeah. I wouldn't know even Al. Like, yeah. I wouldn't know Billy. Yeah. Aaron, like Jason, like these these are people Brandon. that I Brandon, yeah, like these are people that I will hang out with drifting or not. Like, yeah. Which they're yeah. There's not a ton of people in drifting that I necessarily want to hang out with without drifting. Like mm. but like Shots fired. No, no, not not <laughs> shots fired. It's just I don't know. Yeah, is, I it, is that shots fired? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shit, sorry. No, I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I was saying there. I don't mean to be mean, but like, there's not a ton of people. Like, it's not like every person I fucking Me. follow on Instagram I want to fucking hang out with outside of drifting. Yeah. You're like a hard dude to hang out with in general. Like you. Very... What do you mean? Like in gen like you're you're a little like you're a little like introverted. Yeah. Not 
I don't mean once you're hanging out with you, it's difficult. I mean, yeah, yeah. like to get me to hang out. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. That's true. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're you you have your your uh, I don't know an extroverted introvert or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you, I, that that's not real, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> I'm laughing because michael on tinder anyway <laughs> <laughs> yo shout out any ladies trying to get that d magic <laughs> let's go dude get get them get it while it's hot. get it while it's hot. dude i hope he i hope he scores a fucking 10 dude he deserves it Michael's the funniest guy who doesn't think he's funny I've ever met. Yeah. 100%. He's like, I'm not funny. I'm like, dude, you were the funniest person I've ever... Like, he he doesn't... He, like, won't accept the fact that he's funny. Yep. How's his Tinder game going? Dude, I don't know. He'd probably be so mad if we talked about this. Okay, we won't. Fucking swipe right, ladies. <laughs> God damn. This man is the fucking man. <laughs> oh shit! I met my girl on Tinder. I've been I together know. six I've, years. I've told them. I only went on one Tinder date my whole life, and I've been dating her for six years. Wow! I didn't realize it was the first Tinder date. Yeah, it was my first Tinder date. That's rad. I've told Michael that. Yeah, he. Should. Hey, if you're out there and you're like, oh, I don't know about the dating apps, bro. Guess what? It works. You boy fucking... I hate saying you boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, me, myself, uh, yeah. Michael's packing heat, too, just saying. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he got that fucking do my trick. Uh, yeah. Holler at him, ladies. Shelby told all of her friends... That we met at a happy hour because she didn't want to tell him that we met on Tinder. <laughs> so we were like at dinner with her friend. She's like, oh, so I'm like, what happy hour, happy hour were you at? And I was like, we met on Tinder. And she like, her good ass friend like roasted her like at dinner. It was so funny. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, how many people did you tell this? Probably shouldn't air that out. Whatever. Too late. Too late. We were at Korean barbecue. It was delicious. Oh, yeah. Cook your own meal. <laughs> Oh, that was weak. Fuck. I tried to... Man. If that was weak, imagine what a strong one was. Yeah. I can't wait to be back in Japan drinking drinking strong... Strong... Strong's here? Strong? Strong Strong's? What's the, fuck, <laughs> what's the one that's like 12% that you, me, and... Super Strong's? Super Strong's. You, me... Aaron. Aaron. Got... I don't know if Phoebe drank one, but she, I don't think she did, but you, me and Aaron Holy got fuck, dude. wrecked. Holy shit. You can get real drunk in Japan yeah. for cheap. Yeah. I don't drink that street. much, by the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but do I. When you're, uh, when you're doing pods, you got to get a little fucking loose, dude. Yeah. Or when you're in Osaka. Yeah. When you're on the street and you're in a foreign country and you feel awkward because you're like over six feet by like a lot (laughs) yeah yeah what do you think your favorite thing about going to japan and driving was um that's a good question i don't know it's just the whole fucking experience it's so like it's so inspiring like just because people there are not it's not america like people are so Mm. they just want to get better it's not about like look at me it's like yeah it just opens your eyes and it's just you fucking have to push yourself so hard to get to that level yeah you feel like a sucker when you drive there i like that i like fucking I drove not there that I and feel I feel like a bitch every time I. Not that I don't feel like a bitch every time I drive, but when you go to Japan and 
try to do what they're doing on those scary fucking tiny tracks with walls and shit you're like oh fuck i suck i like that yeah it's humbling yeah we need that everybody needs to be humbled everybody needs reality checks for sure be like did you run it with the homies sick could you do it better always yeah yep (laughs) (laughs) yeah like Jason Aaron and I were like running pretty consistent like three cars and people would like jump in and stuff and like at the end of the night like I jumped in with like Kazuya and fucking Nacho and I just we did like one entry like going up the hill at Horse Thief I like entered and there was someone getting like towed off it was like one of the uh, hammer time guys and i just like looked at that and i like looked at like the flag guy and i literally just drove straight <laughs> off the off the first <laughs> corner dude and i had a uh, john ruiz in the passenger seat mm. he's like oh i've never ridden with you first <laughs> lap dude i fucked i like duke boys that airborne <laughs> we almost made it to like the bottom like like we uh, we flew off my my fender blew off like uh, it was like so fucking embarrassing and i like went back into the pits because he was like what happened i was like i don't know man i don't, fucking know. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened but you know it was like it was like a good event and i felt like i drove really strong but like at the end you know i made some like silly mistakes I'm like you can always do better man like I, I just ran out of talent i ran out of like energy i ran out of attention hey that's it like, you gotta fucking make fun of yourself i hate when people fucking make excuses for everything like sometimes you just fuck up yeah. it doesn't matter how good you are yeah sometimes you fuck up it's drifting yeah. you're like driving on the edge all the time yeah there's some guys pro guys or ex-pro guys or like the drifting for hella long and they're like oh this fucking suspension link was loose <laughs> dude you just fucked up it's fine like yeah shut up <laughs> one of my one of my suspension links was loose for the last like fucking four months i think i had like i think i had like negative three degrees of camera on one side and zero on the other but you know what dude what are you gonna do we were just we were going one mile an hour too fast okay <laughs> drifting, drifting is such a weird like the subjective nature of drifting is so odd it's so odd. Like, what are you going to do, man? Like, like it is very much... Ju- it's not only judged by the judges, it's judged by everyone who's watching it. Like, there is no time. Dude, the judging in America sucks dick. That's all I'm going to say. I got to piss. All back. right. <laughs> so I have, I, have, I have a note. I've had more Formula Drift licensed judges than Formula Drift itself. What are you saying? Formula Drift has had less Formula Drift licensed drivers as judges than both Super D and Final Bout. Yeah, get your shit together, guys. Your fucking judging makes no sense. (laughs) Not that anybody's listening from Formula D, but every time I watch it, I'm like, I watch one battle and I'm like, what the fuck are you guys looking at? (laughs) What the fuck is this? Doesn't make any sense. I was trying to find how much alcohol is in this other one. What's in the is this one six point nine? Nice. Do you want me to look? Because are you are you having trouble? I don't think it says. Oh, it's a sour, so it's probably it's probably not crazy. Uh, yeah, dude. Fucking beer connoisseur. I definitely didn't bring this, but we're going to fucking... You brought that. All right, 100%. Dude. I don't drink that fucking fancy shit. Dude. Which one do you want? You want the IPA or you want the sour? The IPA. All right. There you go, champ. Oh, yeah. Cheers, mate. I guess I'll crack it first. Oh, God. Dude, we're going to be fucked up. Yeah, we are. We're just... I'm going to sleep over. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oops. Cheers. Ah. This is gonna be the worst podcast I've ever done. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> How long have we been doing this? Uh, hour and a half. Where am I? Where am I, dude? Oh, dude, that that seems short compared to other ones. Yeah, it's a short pod. All right, what else you got? We're gonna rock You're it. the fucking pod boss. Fucking holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that pod boss means something else in jail. Yeah. Thanks I to know Phoebe. That. <laughs> yeah. I'm the <laughs> Phoebe, what did she call me? The the palm cast or she said this is the palm cast and I was like, Am I the palm cast pod boss? Pod daddy? <laughs> and she's like, It's pod <laughs> boss. <laughs> uh, anyway. If you're if you're ever in jail, you gotta listen to the pod boss. And right now I'm the fucking pod boss. All right, dude. Well, I'm listening. <laughs> Lead the way, I gotta pod pee. boss. I gotta pee. Fucking hang out. Oh god, dude. I gotta do this by myself. All right. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> you just big chilling. Oh, <sighs> I didn't think about what to say at all while I was peeing. Yeah, you're going to have to edit that. Chill. Chill vibes. What do you think, like, one thing that people in the U.S. could do to, like, up their drift technique? Uh, just, like, care about upping their technique. It just seems like people don't care that much. I feel like it's hard to find what I feel like it's hard to find like what I feel like it's a detail thing. I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's a difference between the people that like saw Japanese drifting and that was like the first thing they saw versus like Formula D and like Yeah, I think that's something that I probably need to work on accepting that like not everyone got into drifting when I got into drifting. Yeah. And like when, you know, when Japanese drifting was the only inspiration, it's not like that anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess it's, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I'm not going to tell people that are into Formula D to go and, study fucking Japanese drifting videos it's not the same kind of driving anymore it's just yeah. I guess there's so many different facets within the sport it's like you just kind of like, I, go I with what you like I watched that dude who was like who did that video it's like he did he did the like you know the like be a man videos the like no. Boston be a man videos and no. then like the, okay so some dude did a video it's like clutch kick clutch kick enter and third be a man or whatever and it's like like yeah. don't e-brake entry clutch kick and third and be a man okay yeah it's, it's like some dude he's like a drift guy i don't know he's a z or whatever but like i watched that and i was kind of like you kind of have to explain what that means you don't just say like hey what you're doing is wrong like that never that never like gets through to people, right? Like you have to you have to explain to people like what is it that they're doing wrong and how to change it. You like like what can you do better? Not like hey, don't do that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't there's no context like be a man clutch kick in third what track what yeah. fucking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what what final drive like it, yeah yeah it doesn't mean anything yeah i don't know it just like it like a lot of people thought it was funny and i i you know like it's true like don't just e-brake enter everywhere but there are tracks where you have to yeah it all it's it all depends uh yeah i don't know it's just if you're into like focusing on tech, I don't know. People who are into the technical side of driving kind of know where to look for it. That's the thing. Yeah. Like it's you either are or you aren't. Yeah, that's real. Um, yeah, or like back in the day, you know, when I first got into drifting, it was like the only thing to look at was Japanese drifting. Yeah, 
And also, yeah, I wanted to talk about this, like, because you and Josh were talking about. It. I mm-hmm. watched that pod the other day. Yeah. Shout out, Josh. Uh, who put the videos on Kazaa and LimeWire? Who was the person that <laughs> uploaded them? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Who put them on there? Yo, shout out, shout out whoever. Yeah, I, whoever you know, did that, I fucking appreciate the shit. Like, I wouldn't be as hyped on the drifting that I'm hyped on if that person, those people, didn't put those clips on Kazan and LimeWire for me to download on my dial-up internet for fucking hours. Like... <laughs> <laughs> seriously you know I mean? though. seriously yeah i was there yeah and every it's... once in a while you get like a fucking denali doing like snow donuts and you're like, what <laughs> or a fucking f- jeep trying to do donuts in a parking lot and flipping over on its roof like, i remember yeah. that video too yeah. you're like this is not drifting i think uh shit no but really like i think I, um i didn't get to tell mark i met mark I'm, i met him before but i didn't get to like really meet him mark from slide squad i was like yo the videos that you uploaded I oh did he them. upload some i didn't see them on his website but they got uploaded to kazaa mm. and like like one of the one of the clips was like i think it was like a gold s13 drifting at like ebisu toge course like before there were trees there mm. and like i that shit is burned into my memory of like drifting you know what i mean and like i don't think he was like super happy that they it was on kazaa and i don't think mm. he was super happy that like all this shit got edited into like drift mix 2 with 99 red balloons playing oh dude yeah there was like a bunch of like uh compilations like yeah. drift works compilations was that phil did phil morrison do that I don't like know. because they said drift works compilations and it was like all these clips of like i don't know like D1 and though. Japanese Jiu Jitsu. So, and like WRC, there was a bunch of rally stuff. Yeah, there was like rally shit in there. Yeah. It was like super weird. Like, whoever edited it was like, it's just cars broken loose. That shit got me fucking hyped, though. Yeah. Like, so, whoever did that, I appreciate you. Yeah. I don't think they're under like 40 years old. Like, yeah. But yeah, like, who put the fucking best motoring clips? Like, where did that all come from? I don't know. Because that was so crucial. Like, yeah. that stuff. That was the shit that got us hyped in the early days. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wonder who did that. I don't know. People on the net, man. Yeah. On the internet. Yeah. Who was that hyped on drifting? You know, before, like, Josh and those guys. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, even Josh was, like, talking about how they used to, like, get hype going on the Silady Mania website, like, in, like, 2004 yeah, yeah. or 2003 or whatever. I wonder if Benson would know. Yeah, we should ask him. Shout out fucking Benson, dude. Yeah, dude. He was, like, the first american pro driver that like i was super hyped on i remember yeah. he was driving yeah he was driving like that yeah he had like the same white, car as you. white or silver s13 hatch driving in formula d and he was fast as fuck and sick like yeah he him and ken were like the first american huh. pro drivers that i was super hyped on huh. i remember seeing that like grip video uh interview with ken and he was like 16 or 17. I was the same age and I was like, what the fuck? Like Yeah. Did you listen guy's... did you listen to the Silly Mania podcast with Benson and I haven't Ken? I haven't checked it out yet. I need to Dude, it's fucking good. I feel like you'd really enjoy it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And love... if any of you listening to this hasn't listened to Silly Mania, like you're missing out. Yeah, I need to check it out for sure. Yeah, it's cool to like those dudes are homies now. That's crazy. Like it's pretty they, cool. They it's... were really fucking inspiring in the early Damn. days. So like it's uh, yeah, it's sick. They're they're real good guys. They're super humble and I wasn't expecting Ken to be as cool. Yeah, he's I'm such a lie. fucking nice yeah. guy. Yeah. Those are the kind of dudes that drifting needs. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying before, he had they did that like drift skills like competition. They had Ken judging it, and like you could tell he knew like who was able to do what, and it was he had you know there was there wasn't only one judge, which is fairly common, and all you know 
but like you could tell he knew what was up yeah i mean ken he fucking he judged a super d event and we were like trying to fucking pay him and he wouldn't let us like that's what a fucking g he just he loves drifting that's fucking sick i love that yeah yeah i i feel like that's i don't want to say like a rarity it's just like the fucking he's japanese he's humble he's that's (laughs) not to fucking be a nerd but that's that's how it is as time goes on what do you what do you see as like the future of our of our sport not only like our sport but like what like our place in our sport like do you do you see this kind of like continuing to be like this like subculture within drifting like are we like like where are we at i guess uh i think it's growing yeah i agree like i think that i don't even know what this what is what do we call this lane of drifting it's like just i think i think it's just japan style honestly Mm -hmm. because like people say kansai style and fucking like no it's not kansai style like like taller cars with reverse rake is not kansai style it's just japan style yeah like the driving progresses and the cars progress with it yeah and that's that's all of japan it's not fucking kansai style it's not mehan style yeah like mehan has its own i've been to ebisu and it's there are cars of that it's the same fucking thing yeah yeah, and that they're very far away from each other. <laughs> like Ebisu is like six hours by. Oh Shikansen. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, yeah. Like like distance the tracks wise, are far away from each other. Yeah, yeah, distance yeah. wise. No, it's just Japan style. The cars mm. have gotten faster, and the drivers are getting faster. It's, yeah. I don't. Know, people like to just put that label out it's almost like people are fucking butthurt that Nauki is popular it's like he's just the fucking best driver that's all they're <laughs> like why are you mad about that he's just fucking exciting and i don't understand it either it doesn't it doesn't make any sense like what are you mad about yeah he, he's fucking crazy and super good and yeah exciting. people get mad when all the attention is on certain people yeah he's exciting He's fucking the most exciting. You can't deny it. And I think I said this in another <laughs> podcast, yeah. but whatever, it's true. Yeah. Like, he's without a doubt the most exciting driver. In yeah, the world. even if he's not the best, if you think he's not, like yeah, he's the most exciting. Wise, say what you want, but I, yeah. I, I will fight to the death the fact that he's the most exciting driver. And he's in the relatable. World. Like he doesn't have huge money. Like yeah. his money comes from how he hustles with and drifting. Yeah. He bought us McDonald's, dude. <laughs> Sponsored by Enstyle. Fuck yeah. Uh, I was like, do you want money? And he's like, no. And I was like, oh. <laughs> fucking now dude, he, you're balling, dude. I was like, now he bought me a fucking... Now he bought me a fucking... Drifting is treating you well, dude. Oh. Fuck yeah, Big Macs. I didn't even get a Big Mac. How about yet? McDonald's in Japan, dude? Yeah. If you go to Japan, get yourself a fucking Ebby filet. <laughs> Dude, fuck. So, <laughs> we Dude, were... Dude, we were... it's on the normal menu at yeah. McDonald's. It's yeah. not a specialty item. Yeah. Like Michael fucking likes. If you like Ebby, those special items. If you like, it's that, like, a, it's like, like a, that shrimp. It's like a fish filet. But with shrimp. But with shrimp and so good it's like crispy and fresh and dude we went to we had a layover in tokyo and we me julian that was that was a trip with like aaron and everyone. okay so we got like we got some like nika whiskey which is N-I, <laughs> n-i-k-k-a whiskey we're drink, tokyo is a little different from osaka we came from osaka where like you drink on the street and no one gives you like a side eye at all but me julian and everybody like we're drinking this like nika whiskey and uh we're like cruising around we go to like a botanical garden because like phoebe likes plants so we you know got trashed in like a very beautiful like plant sanctuary and uh i don't know where i'm going with this what were we talking about before mcdonald's oh yeah so (laughs) (laughs) 
So after that, we're we're good and we're good and whiskeyed up. And Julian's like, "No, we need an Ebby fillet. We need a <laughs> we need an Ebby fillet right now." So we we go to the closest McDonald's and we eat Ebby. All of us get an Ebby fillet, and it's you know what? I'm not gonna lie, dude. It was glorious, dude. And I think we met up with like all of Proceed and got like fried chicken, and it was really it was a good time. <sighs> not just to like keep sucking Japan's dick because I feel like it's super fucking nerdy, but like, oh my god, the fucking food is so <laughs> yeah. McDonald like fast food there. Dude, uh, talk, Taco Taco Bell sucks. Sorry. Yeah, Taco Bell in Japan Taco is Bell terrible. Sucks. They had a okon- they had an okonomiyaki uh, taco. Taco. No, fuck that. <laughs> McDonald's is fire. Trash. Though. Ebby fillet. Dude, all they day. had a they had a uh, tong- want, want, tonkatsu. Ebby fillet. Dude. Tonkatsu with cheese in the inside. I want a fucking strawberry sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I want a strawberry sandwich so bad right now. We need to go back. Someday. I'm saving my fucking vacation hours for another trip. Anyway, drifting. Enough about McDonald's. Yeah. Fuck the corporate world, biatch, as Afro Man once said. <sighs> on the on the last trip, when we were, when we were leaving, uh, so like between Willow Springs and Apple Valley, there's two ways to go. And so I asked the guys, I'm like, which way do you want to go? And they're like, I'm like, this way we go through Palmdale. And they're like, like the Afro Man song? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we chose to go that way. They wanted to they wanted to vibe with Afro Man. Call 45, Tuesday, Zag. Yeah, that guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Legend. I, don't, I thought he mentioned Palmdale in that song, but. Uh, all, the, all the Gold Star guys always sing. Palmdale come back to me to me mm. when they're drunk. Which is all the time. <laughs> yeah. <I was> say. <laughs> but who are we to judge right now? True. True that. I don't know, man. True, what are we gonna true, do? True. What's what's next, man? What are we gonna do? Just drive more. Yeah. What else can we do? Dude, push your friends. Yeah, that's it. Push your friends. Have your friends push you. Never, That's all there is to it. Never fucking think you're the best because you're not. Yeah. That's all there is to it, really. It's not that, like, scientific. Yeah. This isn't astrology. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's your sign? I'm a triple Capricorn, baby. A triple Capricorn? What the fuck does Capricorn. that mean? Is um, that a thing? Yeah. What does I don't that know, mean? My mom told me she's really into astrology. What is a triple Capricorn? It means like the time that I was... You know when you see the memes, it's like, if she's asking you what time you're born, like, like run or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the time, it's the time you're born, the day you're born, like the day of the week, and then the, the day oh, shit, that dude. you were born. Triple I'm, Cap. Triple Cap, bro. Damn. Yeah, for all you ladies out there listening that's interested, put it on your fucking whatever. I don't know. I don't know how it works. There's no girls that listen to this. Triple cap. So what does that mean? I have no idea. Sick. I just say it because it sounds cool. Right. What's your sign, baby girl? I'm a Taurus, dude. <laughs> fucking bull. A stubborn bull. <laughs> I think Capricorns are stubborn too. Sick. That applies to every fucking everyone, every sign, because <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, don't you trash astrology? My my brother loves it. That's cool. Yeah, he's on CoStar. I don't know what that means. What? He's like, there should be a dating app for like astrology signs, and I was like, uh... you know, hey, whatever. All right. Yeah. I mean, I just tried to... Shelby and I are both Capricorns, which isn't supposed to work, but, you know, hey. 
That's yeah, that's because astrology is bullshit. But shout out to fucking Chandler Sanderson. Hell yeah, dude. Chan Sander. Chan Sandy. Uh, space is dope though. <laughs> yeah, space is pretty cool, man. I feel like we should go there and like figure out if astrology is real or not. Yeah. Yeah. For be like, sure. Be like, what's up, stars? Am I actually a Taurus? Jeff Bezos went to space. You think he figured anything out? <laughs> yeah. Dude, the fuck the Jeff Bezos space memes are like the, like legendary. Really good. Really good. Also, why did he make his rocket look like a dick? Did he do that on purpose? I fucking hope so. Like if he didn't, <laughs> no props. But if he did, fucking all the props. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy so much Amazon shit if he made it look like a dick on purpose. He's like, I'm gonna fuck space, baby. What a kook. Yeah, yeah. I like the memes that are like, fucking solve world hunger. <laughs> nah, go to space. <laughs> oh, well, like me, my brother, and like some dude who paid a bunch of money. Like, oh. I like how the dude from Virgin. Uh, like, like, just flew like an airplane, like close to space, and he's like, "I beat you." <laughs> <laughs> What's his fucking name? Richard Branson or whatever. I have, so, oh. I have no idea what you're talking Dude, about. It's like billionaire fucking like dick measuring contest. Is pretty much like what's nice. going on right now. Jeff Bezos for sure has a small dick. Dude, you don't make a spaceship shaped like a dick if you have a fucking if you don't if you have a fucking hog. Hog log, fucking big old fucking <laughs> <laughs> baby fist. <laughs> Ever heard his laugh? Michael's always playing videos of Jeff Bezos <laughs> laughing when we're at work. <laughs> Dude, did you see he wore the fucking he had a spacesuit, but he wore like a fucking baller watch on the outside of a spacesuit. Oh my god! <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit. God, I order so much shit on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Amazon for all all my fucking I, I got all my fucking podcast shit on Prime Day. Except for all my sure microphones. Shout out sure. Prime so. Prime Time. And all my friends for letting me borrow them other mics because the ones I ordered weren't right. Uh. Yep. What else, dude? Is your car just solid as fuck? I think it drives hella good. So you probably don't need anything. Uh, I need a clutch. So I put in a... <laughs> Is that thanks to your fucking clutch damper? Yep. Shout nice. out. Shout out fucking doing Formula D stuff on my drift car. Because people told me it was a good idea. <sighs> What are you gonna do? I don't know. It sounds like a good idea, maybe, but I was like, oh yeah, it'll protect all my driveline stuff. Sick. Until you're driving and you shift and it's like <laughs> <laughs> Did you drive it? Jason yeah. drove it and he was like, um what the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, so I have a driveline damper for sale. I mean it's breaking fun. your clutch is better than your trans. Yeah, it's probably good for some people, but not for me. I'm going to take that out and get, like, the real stuff. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, dude. I mean, I, in theory, it was a good idea. Yeah. I was I was twisting output shafts on my diff, and then it would, mm, like... Mm, mm. And then when they spin, they seize inside the diff, and then, like, the diff smoked. Mm. And the M3 output flanges are like expensive and the discs are like getting harder to find so like i'm like i'll get the i'll get the like baller output flanges and then i'll get the like clutch thing so that i don't like i was like oh i won't have any driveline issues and then i got that and it was like you psych to, yeah you just have to like dump the clutch mega hard all the time hmm. but even if you do that it still gets the clutch gets super warm and like after like a couple runs when it's hot out like it'll slip hella bad like i was going up the hill to stage and i'd be in fourth and i'd like get on the gas and it'd be like Wee! like even at uh horse leaf mile 
So like I almost didn't even go to Grange that night because I was mm. like, oh my clutch is done. But you know what are you gonna do? I I kind of took a page from like your book and like, like eh, fuck it, <laughs> like it'll be fine. What an idiot. Sometimes it works, man. Like like I gotta give you credit, man. Sometimes it works. And like I've, I'll I'll be honest, man. Like I gave you a lot of shit back in the day. I'm like, man, this motherfucker like spaces out and forgets all the stuff. You got a lot of stuff going on. You got like multiple businesses and job and car stuff and like trying to keep it all going. Like it's it's work. It's fucking work. And I don't know if everybody realizes it, but it's fucking work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My head is definitely spinning like yeah. 100% of the time. So sorry if I... I don't know. Didn't don't... DM me back or fucking. I, I DM people. It's funny when people DM me like, I know you won't see this. I see all of them. I yeah. just might not reply if you say something that's so ridiculous. It <laughs> would make no sense for me to reply. But like, I'm not famous. Like, of course I see it. Yeah, dude, I'm not Brad Pitt. Like, I see your <laughs> message. Like, like, I see the request. And if I don't respond, it's because you're like, hey, man. How big's your dick? And I'm like, why would you ask me that? Or like, if you ask me my wheel specs, dude, it's not 2008. Like, wheel specs aren't even cool anymore. I'm not mean. You don't have to be afraid to fucking message me. I'm nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm a normal person. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, we got like regular ass jobs and like, we like drink beers and stuff and we like hang out with our I friends. drink beers when I do podcasts cuz I'm awkward. Yeah. Well, you're not that awkward honestly. Maybe not with like your friends, but Yeah. I feel like you're not that awkward. Maybe not. I've gotten better. You've definitely gotten better. Shout out plants. <laughs> <laughs> Want to eat some mushrooms, dude? <laughs> uh, Just kidding. Uh, He's don't do drugs or do uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, dude. I'm a fucking adult. You are an adult for sure. We all are. <sighs> Unless you're listening to this and you're not. Somehow you beat the fucking YouTube block and you said you weren't you were an adult and you're a liar. <clears throat> uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> or trash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that loud in your ears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> hmm. Let me think here. Yeah, what do you want to say to the people, man? Uh... uh I don't good. know, dude. Just drift. Have fun. Yeah, be have, a fucking normal person. Have fun with your friends. Be a normal person. Don't do it for the fucking popularity contest. Yeah. Do it for yourself. What else is there? Now he ain't out there trying to get fucking followers, bro. No. Yeah, I don't know. Drifting is fun. Fuck yeah, it is. It's pretty sick. It's pretty crazy to think like what we've been able to do because of drifting, taking stupid <clears throat> old Nissans and doing shit like it's it's fucking crazy. Yeah, I agree, man. It's pretty sick. I agree. Like what a what other. What else would we be able to do that and like take it to where we take it? And if you know. if you take it seriously and you and you like go after it for the right reasons and you just like surround yourself with people who are pushing each other like it's there's no limit. Like we're seeing all these fucking kids in the X Games like fucking doing ten eighties and shit in front of Tony Hawk and Tony Hawk's like. I'm famous for doing the 900, bro. Like, you did an extra rotation on this, like, on a vert ramp, and you're 12 years old. Like, what is the next generation going to do, you know? Like, enjoy it while you can. 
and like embrace it and like try and bring those kids up you know try and bring everybody up around you and like let's let's like push the sport to be like something exciting that like the future generations can enjoy and like hopefully we get to keep fucking doing this thing you know yeah what's the deal with like have you heard about how the epa is like trying to ban race cars yeah. that are that used to be vehicles what the fuck so the reason is that behind, gonna happen the reason behind that is you got all these dudes with like turbo diesel trucks and they're getting like the tuners or like mm-hmm. cob access ports and all this stuff and it's the concept is because they can sell to off-road use only or a race car, you know, off-road use only, it's for race cars. They're trying to get rid of all of that on the street. And so, like, hmm. we could potentially lose that. But, I like, man, there's there's petitions out there. Sign that shit. It's called the RPM Act. Get on that, please. Because, like, if, if you don't want, if you want drifting to fucking exist, like, we have to have street cars. Like, none of us can afford, like, tube frame fucking <laughs> custom-built, race cars off the lot kind of thing like none of us can do that and i know no one listening to this can possibly do that yeah that's that's ridiculous i haven't looked into it that much obviously but yeah yeah the epa hates everything what yeah what the fuck are we gonna do without drifting i don't know man i don't know please someday we're not gonna have it probably it's coming i mean we gotta let's, do it while we can. I mean, I'm down to like take care of the earth, but like after we're done drifting, <laughs> when we die, <laughs> dude, Mother Nature, man, I'm all about Mother Nature, but like, come on, don't take this from us. Like, I'll do whatever it takes. Otherwise, I'll do whatever it takes. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're, cars are not the biggest contributor of climate change, anyway. Yeah. I'm I'm curious to see where things go. I really am. But like I fucking know what I'm talking about. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching too much Joe Rogan, dude. Yeah, dude, we got to smoke some DMT and fucking just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go in our uh what do they call it? Hyper what what's the fucking we gotta smoke some dnt and go in our float tank i don't know about all that uh i don't know i hope they don't take this shit from us because like what are we gonna do you know we're gonna change these things to electric cars like sure okay Uh, that yeah that's not the same it'd be lame but I still want to do it, man. That one guy that like had an electric Camaro in Formula D that lasted like a couple events. Yeah. That's just engine sound is part of it. Yeah. That's like why the Z was so boring. Yeah. At Grange because you can't hear the engine. Like. Yeah. It's all part of it. It's all yeah. You need the engine sound. You need in like Formula E, you can like hear the engine. It's like, but it's like not that cool. You know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) Yay! (laughs) What the fuck is this podcast? (laughs) (laughs) Oh god, I don't know if I can ever put this one out, but we're going to. It's okay. Who cares? Uh, Do you listen to them before you put them out? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, I listen to all of them. That's not all. I have to edit them, man. You don't edit shit. I don't edit them, but I, I listen to them <laughs> later. I listen to them later because I want to find like clips to put out, which you never do. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking busy, man. Dude, I'll find the clips for you, dude. Yeah, send me the send me the fucking clip clappies, dude. Uh. I, I am very curious to see what happens in the next like ten years. But like honestly, man, that's why I'm that's why I'm trying to push right now. For a while I was like, Oh yeah, I'll get to it when I can and then I was like, dude, I don't know how long this shit's gonna last. Like I need to go. Like and if you're thinking like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna drift in like ten years, twenty years or whatever, like Probably not. Yeah, fucking go hard now, because we don't know what's gonna be around. 
Yeah. Oh, it's crazy to think that. But yeah, the world is always changing so much. It's weird. What a weird time. Yeah, we're in some weird times and in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, sir. Uh... <laughs> what else? I didn't prepare for this at all. Well, the only way that we prepared for this is shotgunning beers. So. I know, I fucking get drunk every time on your podcast. <laughs> probably sound like fucking. <laughs> we don't use. The okay, oh, sorry. It's okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, dude, I'm getting canceled. All right, whatever. This is it. This is the last one ever we've ever done. <laughs> we're ever gonna do <laughs> uh, but also we appreciate you you know why is the world so soft now um cause dude mother nature you know yeah yeah we're in some weird times some weird times I hope I hope like I don't know as as time goes on we're we're gonna <laughs> go around go around the sun more you know uh, dude <laughs> <laughs> How sick is space, though, dude? <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, like, I've never been there, but I want to go. Dude, shit's hella far away. Yeah, dude, stars? It's a, ch- it's like a TV channel and things in space. I'm kind of down, though. I want to go to space, honestly. There was, like, one. they, like, showed all the people who were going to space, like, to... Mars for like one of the Elon Musk missions and there was like there was there was a chick who was bad dude and I was like I am down I go go to space <laughs> <laughs> like, like we're gonna make fucking we're gonna make like a fucking Martian race up there like hot Martians will soul tag me in bro I'm like she cute and she could do math oh put me in coach put me in coach Elon <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, would you want to go to space if it was like a, a thing like yeah. for for uh, normal people? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I want to see what like the Earth looks like. I bet we could go to space like pretty soon. In the next like twenty years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be say- old as fuck, but whatever. Oh, I used to I used to drift cars. And they're like, <laughs> like our grandpa, like get on the fucking spaceship. Dude, let's see your fucking juggling skills, dude. Oh god. Grab my balls. <laughs> you been practicing or what? Nope. Uh, let's see it, dude. <laughs> well, there's like any test on how sober I am, that was it. Cause usually I could do like that's Six? it. You quit okay, already. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! You. Uh, yeah, you fucked. Drunk. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, welcome back. <laughs> I try to juggle, and uh, the balls went everywhere. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. What do you think, man? People are going to listen to this? No. Probably not. They're going to be like, what is this? What is this? Or they will, and they'll be like, this is the best thing you've ever done. And I'm going to be like, is it? 
And they're and they're gonna say no. Yeah, Alright, let's see you juggle. That's only two, dude. Okay, that's one handed. He's juggling one handed currently. Oh god. Oh shit. Alright. And this is what you need to do to practice your hand control. Julian's oh. currently uh I think like eight beers down. Oh. And able to juggle for at least 45 seconds. But I mean, he did used to be a clown. Oh, oh my god. Shit. All right, that's not bad. <sighs> Dude, I'm trash. Should we just end this shit Still and just hang it. out and not. Still got it. Not record us talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. You're the pod boss. You tell me. Uh, I've never been to jail, man. You're the fucking Palmer's pod castle <laughs> boss. <laughs> How long have we been doing this? Uh, two hours and ten minutes. Dude, that's plenty. Nobody wants to fucking listen that long. Yeah. All right. Shout out your mom. Not yeah, you, dude. but everybody. Shout out my mom for sure. <laughs> I mean, shout out your mom, but shout out everybody's mom. Shout out my mom. Hell yeah. Shout out all the moms. Moms Sh- are dope. Shout out the moms. Where the fuck did that come from? Uh, I'm with it, though. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about my mom. All right. Yeah, shout out my mom, dude. Shout out Palmer's mom. Yeah, shout out Julian's mom. <laughs> R.I.P. Shout out all the moms out there. Putting up with our fucking dumbasses. <laughs> Oh, God, I was such a fucking pain in the ass when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have your fucking door kicked in by the... I shouldn't tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be a story for another day. Anyway, good night. <laughs> <laughs> shout out fucking... Shout out, you flak jacket wear motherfuckers, dude. Cheers, dude. Cheers, I already finished mine, but oh, there's some left. All right, fucking cool. killing it, dude. This was fun. Yeah. Shout out Wayne's World. Later, Gators. That's what I always say. West Coast. West West, y'all. All right. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop.